Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, figured I'd give you a two cents owner review of the Fox 2.0 kit on my uh, 2015 F-150. Uh, so I've uh, had this kit on here for about 6,000 miles. Um, put it on at 75,000 miles on the truck uh, and the uh, stock shocks were starting to feel a little worn and figured I'd just be a little proactive with it. Um, overall, the install was, was fairly straightforward and, and uh, pretty easy to do. Um, I was able to do it pretty much on my own. Uh, my brother-in-law, who was a mechanic, gave me a help here and there, but the hardest part was uh, honestly getting the uh, sway bar end links uh, off and then reattached just because of the age of the vehicle. Um, you know, when I first got the truck, or when I first got the, the cat on the truck, the um, thing I noticed was that uh, I got a little bit more than uh, two inches of lift up front. It's like uh, two and a half, uh, but that settled right back down to two inches uh, after a couple hundred miles on it. Um, and when I first got it, uh, because of that extra that extra uh, preload up front, um, it kind of felt like it took up some of the droop travel. And uh, as I'd get into uh, bumpier roads, uh, when I'd hit a pothole, uh, felt like there wasn't enough droop there to allow the wheel to follow the road, so it would kind of crash and fall into potholes. But uh, after about a thousand or mile, a thousand miles or so, the kit really felt like it started to break in, and everything's really smoothed out. Um, the one thing I will say that the kit did really well is on road, the truck handles a hundred percent better. Um, you know, it's it's not going to pass as a sports car or a muscle car or anything like that, but it's it's far more planted. Um, before there were some uh, areas of paved road around us where you'd be going around a corner and there might be some bumps in the middle of the corner. The back end would kind of would start to step out, um, and it would just it, it felt underdamped. Um, now it's it's much more controlled. Um, it's still just as compliant as before. Um, so on road, it's 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 a vastly improved experience. Um, off road, you know, the, the truck feels a little bit more capable. Um, we're right here just running uh, my, my dirt road at home. I live at the corner of two dirt roads, and this one is uh, seasonally closed. And turns into a snowmobile trail in the winter. So um, I'm just going to take you through here. You can kind of see how the truck moves me around as, as we go through here. And uh, yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see kind of how she does. Um, before, you know, I'd take this probably at about 20 miles an hour before I felt like I was really beating up the truck. Um, I can pretty much go 35, 40 miles an hour through here with, with it being pretty rutted and washed out. And, and, and it doesn't feel like it's, it's beating the truck up or abusing it. Um, you know, everything rattles around on the inside just because it's got 80,000 miles on it and all my crap's all over the place. But otherwise, it, it holds its own pretty well. Um, you know, it's, it, it's made the truck a little bit more capable, but where, uh, where she really excels is, is on her own. But um, right now, um, I'm pretty happy with the kit. Um, it, 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 again, it settled the back down to two inches after a thousand miles or so. Um, a little water hole right here. We'll take her right through.
certainly buy them again you know, at the point where I was at where I needed shocks. Um, it's certainly an improvement in the way the truck, uh, the way the truck drives. Um, it just feels more composed, feels like a higher quality suspension. Um, and uh, you know, whether that's worth it to you or not, that's, that's, uh, that's up to you. But anyways, that's just my two cents on uh, my little short road there. Uh, have a good one.